First tonight, we are getting new details about a Guilford County deputy who was shot yesterday. It led to a tense morning in an Oak Ridge neighborhood. Today, the DA's office says the gun went off during a struggle after the suspect grabbed a deputy's gun. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake joins us live now with more details from the suspect's first court appearance. The district attorney's office said Andrew Cato tried grabbing a gun from one deputy, ended up misfiring and hitting another deputy. Cato's attorney says that didn't happen. He said Cato didn't reach for any gun. Today, in his first appearance in court, Andrew Cato was sitting there and he looked visibly irritated, agitated during the entire hearing today. Enough to speak out. Cato called 911 to his neighborhood on Skipper's Trace in Oak Ridge early Monday morning. When asked why he called police, the DA says Cato told the 911 operator when they get here, they will find out. His wife also called 911, saying she was afraid of her husband. When deputies arrived, the DA says Cato was combative, threw a drink at them, and squared up like he was going to fight. At that point, he was just feet away from the deputy with the rifle. The deputy attempted to secure the rifle, uh, attempted to go hands on with this defendant to subdue him. At that point, body worn camera shows this individual reaching around the deputy, laying hands on the 556 rifle. At that point, the rifle uh, discharges and actually shoots the deputy next to the deputy with the rifle. Cato's attorney says he has no violent record and only called deputies because people in his neighborhood were riding dirt bikes in his yard. Mr. Cato is an American patriot who saw active duty. He was in the military, in the Army. Um, he worked for the Department of Defense. Uh, he has worked with the uh, NSA. He is innocent in this. Whatever the reasons for this altercation, I am as eager to learn about as quickly as you are. The court found Cato to be a danger to the community and will undergo a mental health evaluation. His attorney says there's no reason to believe Cato has a mental health issue at all. Cato faces several charges, one of which is assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury. Live in Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.